Hi guys, it's your boy, the Supreme Leader. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click the bell button after subscription and share the channel as usual. You can always leave your comment at the comment section or follow me on Instagram from Africa to South America and I'm always with you guys. Yes, your comment and, uh, and more videos, okay? Um... In this video, I'm simply going to take you guys through, um, what do you call it, uh, something so beautiful and also uh, impressive, okay? I was impressed by uh, how things are out here in Brazil, comparing it to where I simply come from. In this video, we are in, uh, what do you call it, in the middle of Brasilia. Uh, it is a very popular spot where uh, basically when you come to Brasilia uh, it is good it is actually the first place not the first place because not all the time that you go through here before uh, connecting to your destination but when you come to Brasilia the possibility of you seeing this place is high because it's in the center of Brasilia and it's uh, uh, it has a lot of, you know, like interesting thing going on over there, like uh, every weekend, even in fact, every day, let me just say every day, because there is a marketplace and also there are uh, 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 restaurants and stuff like that. But on this particular day, the reason why I simply uh, brought my family along here is uh, to uh, get a bit of this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like video of how we celebrate Independence. No, not Independence Day. Uh, let me just simply say um, uh, anniversary. Okay, anniversary of uh, Brasilia. You know, Brasilia is actually a very new country. Uh, sorry, new city, new capital. So uh, it's not old. It's not that old. It's I think it's about. Uh, 60, 66 years or something, or 60 something years, or maybe 70 years or so. So, on this particular day, uh, there was a celebration taking place over there. It, it was actually the day before this particular day, but then uh, normally they celebrate it three days uh, on a row or in a row. So, we decided to simply come and then, uh, you know, like have that feeling of how they celebrate it and yeah here people consider holidays very very important so we decided to come here so once we came here i got really uh, impressed about how organized you know like when they are doing something they, they, they take it very serious to put everything in place and uh you know like when I say put everything in place, they, they, they make sure they have ambulance, they have the security, they have, like, they have, basically, let me just say everything, you know, I really, I you know, like, I, I, I am always, like, you know, looking at some small, small things that uh, we have here in Brazil that, uh, you know, like, let me just say, we don't have it where i simply come from you know i always say my country where i come from originally is ghana in the west of africa and uh, it's a place where we are simply not organized and we you know like some small small things we don't even uh, have you know like we we still have even basic uh, uh, necessity issues where i come from but here here in brazil basically uh, they don't. They don't simply have basic uh, uh, necessity problems. You understand? It's really rare for you to simply come to Brazil and find yourself in a tight situation. For example, you go to town and then maybe you feel like going to the urinal, or you feel like going to the toilet, <laughs> or you feel like you know, like doing something which is simply a basic something you understand uh here in brazil when you come 
uh, to do to those kind of things, you hardly get problem with this. You hardly get difficulties with it. You know, like everywhere you go, there is simply uh, a, a, a very clean toilet and bath where you can simply walk in yes, and then yeah, you relate, or maybe use yeah, the toilet and it's, it's all for free you understand and another uh, thing that I was really that. impressed about was uh, they simply have water you know like <laughs> drinking water not oh. like uh, you know, what yeah, I was really just you know like I always get impressed about this part of Brazil you know like for example, when you go to the park, when you go to the park, they have drinking water for people to just come and use it, you know. And when we talk about drinking water, it's not just a common drinking water, you understand? Like, a, a clean, cold water, you know, like, they have some, one, one kind of machine that uh, they place it uh, in those public places where people simply, uh, uh, where sim people simply go to you know, like, for a walk, to spend time, picnic, and stuff like that. So here in Brazil, it's very common when you know, like, but it's very common here in Brazil. But I mean, as, uh, an African or someone from Ghana, where I don't get all of these uh, privileges. Uh, you know, each time I come across these kind of things, I I I I I am um, I really get uh, what do you call it, astonished. Like I I become very, you know, like it's it's the surprise doesn't go away. No you understand? Because uh, I look at Brazil like what people think about Brazil out there, and so that the kind of mindset people still have about Brazil in uh, what do you call it in my country it is something that really 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 you know wow, like surprises me uh, uh, personally because like to date I, I am still full of this surprise you know like when I, 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 I am i am in town and you know like there are some they basic stuff it. that Show. you know like when I come Show, across, you know, I don't really remember them so to do vlogs about them, but, uh, this time around i wanted to Start, you know, like it should be like a reminder, you know, like uh, the main reason why I really love Brazil and also like to talk more about Brazil and you know, like stuff like that. You understand? And uh, just just because of these basic stuff, you know, like these basic stuff that we have here in Brazil, it is astonishing when you when you come across this kind of basic stuff like you know a uh, free toilet or free uh, what do you call it you are now where you can just walk in and then do your thing you know without any problem and you know they have uh, people who take good care of this particular spot on my left hand side, you see some people are wearing orange. Se você um and you see some one guy behind me who is você wearing orange. Falar, tá, gente? Okay. Those kind of Eu people here, também, uh, they vocês. are the ones who normally take good care of the any Porque part of the city. You know, é like uh, the parks, the streets. You know, like let's just say basically, they are the ones who keep the cities clean. You know, like. You know, it's, it is their job, you understand? It is simply their job where uh, 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 they clean the city and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it is really good. It, it's really good. And, you know, they work. They, they, you know, it's not like where I come from where uh, you see these kind of people, but then they are not doing their work or something. Here, the people, they take good care of, uh, you know, the city. Look at how clean the place looks. The, it like it look very clean, you understand? So I just decided to bring this content and then talk a little bit about the basic stuff. So you can see security personnel uh, everywhere, you know, like there are these uh, police cars parked and uh, there is a huge group of them too as well. Uh, 
Uh, uh, there, there, there is a, a huge oh, group of them. I, 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 I will show you another uh, group of these squads. And also, this particular orange squad team are simply, uh, we call them Bombero. They are firemen. And uh, apart from being fired, you know, when we talk about firemen here, they do a lot of things. Like things. Like Fire like and you see police, like uh, cars and person police personnel like together with the firemen. Uh, and on my left hand side here, you see this particular people. squad too, who I was really talking Je about. They clean, they keep the city clean. Everywhere you go, simply see you understand? When you come to Brazil, these basic stuff, so, man, you will love it. You will simply love it. And it's, it's really astonishing, guys. It's really, really astonishing. So, these are some of the things that even makes me love Brazil more. Because if I come from this, this kind of thing, I simply love you. You understand? You to simply work in a community where... The community is super clean, very organized, security uh, everywhere. You know, like, <laughs> then that kind of community, you will just yeah. have to say they are community mm, where você pode deixar seu comentário live, também. Maybe community where, pode uh, 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 let me just say, Se minister is a member of parliament, please um talk like that, you understand? Video, for me, video, there is a video, lot, video, there is a lot. Né? From time to time, I will make sure I bring you this kind of content oh. and uh, talk to you guys and show you guys more, there more more reason, é let me just say, more reason why, <laughs> let me just say, uh, a bit more reasons, or let me just say, reasons why I simply love to live here in Brazil. And you know, there is peace, like I said, there is peace here. And apart from that, um, basic stuff like food, the, one of the cheapest things in the world is food, where you can simply get anybody to get give you even food for free. It's not a place where you can come out of the place, I don't have food in the place, I'm thinking about three people and stuff like that. But anyway, this is just a short video I don't want to do it. Don't forget to subscribe to the screen reader, subscribe to this channel, share the channel, and leave your comment in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and leave your comments. Bye-bye.